<laughs> Yo, this is Diesel Water, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Yeah, yeah. With all this time, we threw the air. Oh. We just wanna be somebody. Soon something's got to give. Hey, Chris Ballou from the Presidents of the United States of America. Yo, what's happening, y'all? This is Rich Ball. Both of us are the Yo, what up? It's Terry Robinson from the Strange Music. I'm Batman Bat Ponder. Yo, what up, Camp Folk? This is your boy Smoke. Woo, woo, raise a ray here in the face. Yo, what's it? It's just music. What's up? What up, world? It's your boy Chill Willie in the building, man. Y'all already know what's going on. There's a whole lot of dang shit going on on my side. You feel me? Yo, this is Gum Gear Clerk from Snuff Productions out of Denver, Colorado. Yo, what's happening? This Pope from Project Born, and it's just just music and you rock it with Sicko ENT. What up, it's Cody Master, repping LSD, Firefly, and you Man, this is A.O. Dre, and you are watching Just Music. I'm Jason Dawes from Double Dare Entertainment, and you're watching It's Just Music. It's your boy Cognito, you watching It's Just Music. Uh, LB, Sickening Sicko Entertainment. What's up, this is Frank Nitty from Project Porn, and It's Just Music. The boy Chuckles, the head on the cloud here. Yeah, what up, Chuckles, my boy, LB, Sickening. And It's Just Music. All right, sickos, Zuka here. Time to cut the bullshit. It's time for It's Just Music with LB Sickney. Now I know something technical is going to go wrong during this video. Just about every episode has a fuck up. And if you can catch it, write it down in the comments. Enjoy the show. You're telling them I'm kidding myself I lay in my bed and I'm punching and kicking for bidding your presence for cripple from lies My mental health got me feeling odd I write it all down with a pen and some paper With hopes at a time it helps someone be greater You can learn from my mistakes and be better than me I live my life, my life, my fantasy The drugs in the past, the alcohol now I'm living my life and I'm lost in the crowd People keep telling me I'll do something great But I just can't seem to get out of this place My mind, my sickness is undefined Forget that doctor and I'm taking these pills Reality sucks, but at least it is real Reality sucks, but at least it is real Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Come on, I do know I need those things. Yeah, but Dad, you know how you do. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll take it for you. Love you, Daddy. What up, y'all? LB Sickening making another video for my sickos. Today I got this dude that I met in one of these music review shows that I go in all the time. Eddie Cuts. Uh, all right, all right. All right. So, I'm going to say, yo, this is Eddie Cuts, and you're watching is just music with sicko entertainment. Salute. Y'all check out his podcast. He does a, a music review. He does music shows, all that kind of shit too. He was in the music review show with me one night, and uh, he asked me if he could get on the show. You know what I'm saying? He donated to, to get on the show, so let's show him off. I don't know what kind of music he makes. Why well, do he does rock and rap? He's different, very very different. It's kind of like a. The dude with the mask that I had on the show not too long ago, a few episodes back. Hey, yo, what up? It's Rafa God, and I'm tuned in. You're tuned in to It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. That's what he reminds me of. But uh, let's go. Let's check out this first track, man. Diesel Water, Let Us Ride. Let Us Rise. That's the name of the track. I'm always fucking shit up. Let's go. No longer a dream, reality creeping in, closer it seems, what to do, be me, all I know, and all I know was written in the rhyme, the design was a prime example of the universal mind, minds intertwined, beings being no longer hypnotized by the lies, lies told, forgiven, they'll never forgotten, can't believe how far we've fallen, no longer on the decline, civilization will strive and thrive, beings being in unity, forever we will thrive, no longer hypnotized, waking up to a new reality, the vision unfolding before 
from my eyes and make me want to cry when I think about the times I wanted to die. Life on the rise, blessings and love. Life on the rise, no longer denied. The pleasure inside, light in my eyes, dead inside. I was once, now I'm free. Free to be what it was, where I was meant to be. Time will tell if I've seen clearly my life as it unfolds. Before my eyes, the future I've lived in my mind. When I'm no longer a peasant in the land of snakes, rats, and murderous cats. Respect was found all around, let us rise. Rise to our feet, fight daily to get it right. Not for our lives, but for the youth to strive. The goal in my life is to see it come into fruition. If I had a wish, it would be to save the children, the future of the next generation. Lives in our hands, do we really want to live like we did? We are strong, rise up to our children's children. The future is ours to create as we see fit. Peace, love, and harmony is the vision I see. Let us rise, move on our feet, complete the task ahead of us. Making all lives matter for all of us, united as one individually and individual, creating your dreams. Right in front of your eyes, patience is key. Go with the flow, what they will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mercy is a blessing, forgiven, forgive yourself from the meaning of all. Lies inside, inside of the trinity, mind, body, and soul. Written on a DNA to thrive, never taken down by the truth. On with the teeth, with love and respect, but don't test Love and never forgotten, the fallen before and after us Together we're feeling we can be in heaven again For eternity be as one, an entity in the universe Energy, neither created nor destroyed They want not us into being the first energy Let us be one frequency, one harmony And orchestra playing the most beautiful symphony Thank you for all, all you've given me Many strong lessons learned, never to be forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into some of this interview. Let's go. Every time we get to play, play. always turns into slay. Knife drips blood off the tip. When I taste it, it gets me rage. rage. Every time we get play, play. always turns into slay. Knife <laughs> drips blood off the tip. The taste come of on, blood, I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. Since you're coming with the blood uh -huh. bass, like you're doing the service, you need yeah. to get paid, you yeah. know? So what's up, man? I'm LB Sickening. Welcome to It's Just Music on the Signature Series Network, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, wherever the fuck they're watching this at. Go ahead and introduce yourself for the people that don't know who you are. I am Diesel Water. Yeah, man. What first got you into music? Uh, I've loved music my whole life. Got into hip-hop, I'd say, around 10 or 12. And then got arrested at, like, 27 and got sent to a halfway house and yeah, I started rapping there. Oh yeah. You do rock too though, right? I do do rock, yeah. I had a guitar at like sixteen and I was in a band at like fourteen. If I remember correctly, if if you're the diesel that I remember, we were in I think Eddie Cutt's live music review show the other night. You sent in a rock song and I gave it like an eight or a nine. And you sit in a rap song, and I give that like a six, right? Was that you? Correct. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. I definitely like your rock more than your rap. Sorry, shit. It's just facts. No, you're good. You're good. I, I personally, I prefer rock, but I love hip hop so much that I can't not do it. Right. I feel it. Who inspired you to make music? Who inspired me to make music? I don't really know how to answer that. Well, usually, you know, and as an artist, like, there's another oh, like, artist that... Oh, Tupac. Me. Tupac was my inspiration for since I was 10 or 12. And then after that, really got into Eminem. I listened to rock pretty much other than that. And then got into, you know, Bone Thugs and Tech 9 and all them. So, yeah, then it branched out from there and got really underground. 
That's fresh, man. Uh, how do you describe the music that you typically create? I know you said rock and rap, but how do you describe it? Like, Okay, so my favorite thing to do is the combination of both rock and rap in a song. So that's what I sent in for the most part is my mixed genre songs. Right. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I've done country. I've done r and I've done rock. I've done rap. I've done reggae. So it's kind of hard to put it in a, a box. I feel it. What's your creative process like? Do you got to smoke or drink or anything before you get into the recording studio? I am sober right now, and I've been sober for about a month. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. So before, I've been drunk for 20 years. So this is a new experience. So we'll see how I do in the music now that I'm sober. Um, when I got sober, man, or at least started to slow down, because I used to drink every day, all day. Now it's, yeah. like, now it's like a once every once in a while kind of thing. Uh, when I got sober, though, when I slowed down, uh, my music drive increased tenfold. Nice. Uh, yeah. When I got sober is when I started actually going somewhere with this. I started getting features from people. I started spending my instead of spending money on alcohol, you're spending your money on your music. Right. And things start to happen for you, man. Before you know it, you're in magazines and books. <laughs> you know. That's the dream. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Um, I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to inspire. Feel me? No, no. I I say good for you, bro. And I hope someday I get there. What up, y'all? This is LB Sydney, and you're watching Signature Series Network, the home of my new show. It's just music. Make sure you check me out. Woo woo. Ha ha. LB Sydney. Sick O N T. Yeah, I got five kids in a house, an ex-wife that won't shut her mouth. Three babies I don't get to see. I got child support and they're bothering me. I got bills stacking high to the ceiling. Got a hoopty for a ride. This is how I feel. And I'm stuck in this town. Got nowhere to go. I really want to get out. I got new headphones. These headphones, they take me to a place so far away. And I travel every day. Don't want to come back unless that music stays. These headphones, they calm my nerves when I feel like dirt or when I let somebody get hurt. Or when I want to hurt myself when I'm just having one of them days. He sounds like an interesting guy, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into some more of his music. A King's Tale Knight, Diesel Water, let's check it out.
It's a dark cold world and I walk alone Now I have a place to call my home Family at my side, no longer need to hide I'm out in the open, let it be known Love is the answer and you're not alone in these hard times Listen to the rhymes, we are all united together We will make it through together We will evolve, our species will survive, our species will thrive Tear down the system, we rebuild it from the ashes The lies were told, misguided in the masses They the critics of control, demons of power It was getting so close to the final hour Minutes to midnight, time running now Thank God for the blessings to continue to be able to learn these lessons The reason for being on this earth, live life and love And learn from the pain, without that you have nothing Don't take it for granted, it's inevitable it will end Enjoy while you can, the next life is love, all encompassing joy Feel no pain no more, yes there's a heaven for a team Forget the negativity in the past, let it go Live with compassion for those all around you You never know if and when it could be you again Don't take it for granted The hell that you live is heaven for someone else If you would disagree, walk in my shoes I walked in mine, and that's all I know Let's hit up some more of this interview. Let's go. Watch your bag from the ones whose backs you watch. That's the surface that they scratch. Tried to snatch your cash. They closely plot on all your moves. And Who'd you like to most collaborate with? Alive and dead. Give us both. Alive and dead. I'd have to go with first Tupac. And then a group called Sweatshop Union. Never heard of them. Uh, they're Canadian. And... Their last CD they came out with before they quit, it's called Infinite, Yeah, is by far the most phenomenal CD I've ever heard. And it literally changed my life. Oh, yeah. You gotta sh uh, maybe we'll play one of their songs in the show. There you go. That'd be tight. So don't take it for granted, man The most of it before it's too late Yeah, cause I know the rain's gonna fall today But it's okay Time waits for no one So don't take it for granted, man The most of it before it's too late Yeah, cause I know the rain's gonna fall today But it's okay I was raised in archaic days Targeted race by shade, regonomics and aids Crack was a plague, back when we all felt safe But lately it's the same charade Black in hearts, hard in the clay Hard as the 80s is often regarded as hardly as harsh as it is today Is it the kids, is it the schools, is it the parents inherited views Is it the man, the myth, the government's bitch, the rich, the better than you Fear is a weakling, hate's deceiving, love is a weapon of fate Believe me, reason with them to the bittersweet end But you better be ready to leave here again Friend or foe, family enemy, eventually gone Energy, memory, song, spirit forever live on, spirit forever live long. Friend or foe, family, enemy, eventually gone. Energy, memory, song, spirit forever live on, spirit forever live long. Yeah. Time waits for no one, so don't take it for granted, man. The most of it before it's too late. Yeah, cause I know the rain's gonna fall today, but it's okay. Time waits for no one, so don't take it for granted. The most of it before it's too late Yeah, yeah, yeah. cause I know yeah. the rain's yeah. gonna fall today yeah. Call the day when my father came home From a decade in prison to find nothing was the same No, Reaganomics we were raised on Ice Cube, Slick Rick, artifacts to alter that we prayed on Fresh marker black to autograph the city Hanging with them harder cats with hearts that lack pity And we learn from it 
turn on Kept them headphones on A burning sun Waiting for the world to plummet Made it through Now I'm touching on the truth All I wanna do is pass it on to you One, two And when I pass I leave this mask behind What I came to do is master life And I pray and wish the same for you Time waits for no one So don't take it for granted Ain't the most of it before it's too late yeah, cause I know the rain's gonna fall today But it's okay Time waits for no one So don't take it for granted Make the most of it before it's too late Yeah, cause I know the rain's gonna fall today But it's okay From the woods, north, east, west, south and worldwide We finna win, open up your third eye And if you with me, let me you say, ah, 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 to the hood, north, east, west, south, and worldwide. We finna win, open up your third eye. And if you with me, let me hear you say, ah, ah. You didn't give us both. Did you give us? Yeah, you did give us alive and dead, didn't you? Jeez. Listen to your guys, man. <laughs> okay, so like doing a song with somebody and opening it for somebody is two completely different things because some people's music's better than their stage show. Some people's stage show's better than their music. Who would you like to open up for them with the most? I have never seen a rap artist live. You've never seen a rap artist? Not even a local show? Uh, the only local show I ever made it to the speakers blew or something like that so then they shut down the show i don't know what just happened to your sound but it like went way down uh let me oh uh, you were probably covering your mic with your hand <laughs> oh okay there we go but yeah uh yeah the speakers messed up the program on the computer messed up or something so they couldn't do the show uh, shame. i live in the country where people don't come to do rap. They don't even come to do rock. There's some, like, country towns that I've, like, done concerts at. You know what I'm saying? And usually, like, because usually when a, when a country town invites an artist to their town, it's like a once-in-a-ten-year kind of thing. Right, and, right. And, like, the fucking show is usually off the hook. You know what I mean? Because everybody in that town came... Got a bunch of redneck drunk motherfuckers over here yeah. enjoying your shit. And <laughs> it's fun. Well, no, the big city I live by, I live in Nebraska. So obviously you got Omaha and Lincoln. So I live by Omaha. But uh, they have a good rock music scene. It used to be better until they tore down the best venue and built a Walmart. Man, that's a story of a lot of... Music venues, man. I know. Walmart destroyed the live music scene. They destroyed my second favorite venue uh, and built, like, college dorms. Right. Or a parking lot. It's like, what do you need a parking lot for? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> What's one message you'd like to give to your fans? Only your fans. The rest of the world can't hear this message. Only your fans can hear this message. Let us know. Thank you so much. That's uh, like so much gratitude and appreciation goes into you guys for even one, hearing my music two liking it enough to come back and listen to more word. What do you got to say to the haters? Thank you for listening to my music. Yeah. Sit, go. <laughs> Sit, go. I really don't know how to say this next song. It's like a really long name. I can't fucking read. <laughs> Let's go, man. Diesel water. Subscribe production. Tell the story of my life
He's got some pretty interesting stuff to talk about, so let's hit up some more of this interview. So what's your most useless talent? In other words, the talent that you have that you use the least. Useless to you. Uh, drawing and wood burning type stuff. Both of those things you could put to use, though. Well, I was planning on starting my own wood burning little business and sell it on the side here and there, but that was over the winter. So have I you ever have... gone to the gut? Have you ever gone to the gather the juggalos? No, you should go and take, all, I your would love to. take all your wood burning shit with you. Set up a fucking tent, set up your wood burning shit, five bucks a pop, whatever the hell it is. I bet you sell at least half of them. That would be dope, man. You'd be surprised, well, man. I, I can't say I'm very good, you know, but it's fun. And that's why I stick to my own devices. Right. It's cold that my soul is priceless. Right. So cold that I sold it twice. Uh, Always take the time to consider it. Mostly kind of considerate. Yeah. Hit him with lines at times you might define as illiterate. And that's the type of shit I've come to expect. Uh -huh. Just give me love and respect and hit him with sicko till there's none of them left. With all this time we for the end. Uh, I just wanna be somebody. Something's got to give I like the cartoons this guy puts behind his music, man. They're pretty cool. Diesel Water. Lost in a dream. 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 Look, there's fire right here. <laughs> Run through 
through the mid-block and the flow of information poison steep through my muscles designed to perpetuate decay is this how we really want to stay? Yes, it's no longer buying pop of poison forced to live in lives on the fire the universe cut off forces are lost and now stuck for 90 days forced mental health what a joke choking in my inability to fight back knew that they had me cornered now they could fly now another option is to go and die in a closed casket buried while still alive don't mean not allowed to flow serotonin no more fluctuation stop the steady flow is that what they desire? no emotion to show what did I dream? How did this become reality? Lost in a dream. How did this become reality? Lost in a dream. How did this become reality? Lost in a dream. Get us some more of this interview. Talent and how to sell them. No, okay. I don't know how well you can see, but this is probably my favorite one. Let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, that's dope. Um, yeah. My uncle's into that stuff too, man. Check this one out. This is one my uncle did. Oh, that's, see, that's way better than I can do. Uh, yeah, but he's been doing it for fucking 30 years, man. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, let's get back on to you, man. When you're alone, there's no music on. Say so you're in your homie's busted ass car. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no music playing at all. Do you got music going through your head? And if you do, what songs? Is it you? Is it somebody else? Uh, okay, so as of the past, like, seven years, all I've done all day, every day is music. So I have like probably a million songs playing in my head randomly. It'll just skip from one line to another, to another, to another. And I'm schizophrenic. So I had like thousands of voices in my head at the same time. Yeah. And so all of the song lyrics turned into the voices and they all intertwined. I don't know how to explain that. Yesterday at the stairs, I saw a man. He wasn't there. I saw right. him again today. I wish, I wish he'd go away. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll let my viewers know. I've been diagnosed with possible paranoia schizophrenia, so I know what that's like, man. Um, ah, man. You lose yeah. track of reality at some point. Yeah. Uh, there's like a couple weeks of my life. I don't know where it went, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I do know. Long time uh, ago, though. Long time ago. <laughs> the right doctors, the right medication, you'll be right on the right track, man. Stop that drinking, homie. Uh, fact. Very fact. What would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music? I'd be dead. I get that a lot. Why do you say yeah. that? Because uh, my first episode lasted like a year. And then they finally diagnosed me. And I should have died then, by all rights. But so then I go on medication, go into the hospital, go on medication. They let me out. The medication goes. I'm on board of mental health for a little while. So then the medication is forced on me. And so then I was on pills and the pills made me a zombie. So I stopped taking them. So then I had another episode, ended up in the hospital. They tried a different pill same effect so that was a few processes and then i figured out that each time i go into an episode it's like i get 
better at handling the episode. Right. So I get stronger in that. And so then eventually I plan on going off of meds forever once I can get a grasp on it. Yeah. Good luck, man. You got this. Thank you. What's your most favorite and least favorite place to perform? I have only performed one show. Yeah, what was it like? Did you like it? Was it was time? terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. It was a pay. Okay, so my buddy was like, we're going to go to an open mic tonight. I was like, bet, man. Then I just made my first CD, had like 100 copies printed out. I was handing them out for free. And I go up to the, it's packed. I go in there, it's packed. And I go to the lady that you sign up with. And I was like, um, she's like, you're going to go last. I was like, cool. I was like, I this is my first show. Can you like dim the lights or something? <laughs> she was like, yeah, okay. So then oh, everybody's on stage doing their thing, jumping around, all that shit. And then I get called up and she blares the lights at me and she's like, we got a first timer here. I was like, you bitch. But uh, so I closed my eyes and just recited my lines and got through. Yeah, I don't know if it was good or not. Um, I wish I could have seen that. That sounds interesting. I love when DJs do that to newbies. I love that shit. It's going to do one of two things to you. You're either going to crumble under the pressure or you're going to fucking kill it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen it I've seen it a hundred and something times, man. You know? I know I did good on the song. She wasn't my... being a bitch, dude. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was testing me. Yeah. She yeah. was definitely testing me. And I respect it. I really do. <laughs> so then I started doing open mics after that, but there was only, you know, like 10 people in each open mic. And I forget my lyrics all the time and have to freestyle the rest of the song so that I kept going. This is the last track by Diesel Water, you know what I'm saying? This is called Fables. I really like these cartoons he, that he puts in the background. I know he didn't make them or nothing, but it, it goes with what he's doing. Let's go. Let's check it out. Tell you about a life I used to know Maybe a fable, I'll never know Memories in and out of my mind Are they memories or visions of time? A time not yet, or past, or now A new path we are on as we grow as one Entity, frequencies flow from now till then When does it end? No longer on the horizon A new future we create together We may not see it in our lifetime But the ones not yet to be We'll look back and say Thank you for the change Thank you for the love if you had not, things would still be the same Prisoners in our own mind, trapped in an invisible cage Free no more, what happened to the land you used to love? We know nothing but pain and misery How could this be? The stories of the past we hear no more Memories wiped from history Thank you for fighting for me Before I was me Not even a thought inside of the mind of the creators of thee But the power that is plans every thought to the universe, time has no place in this story Does not matter in the manner we perceive Irrelevant it seems, yet rule the lives of all but a few Killer of all, slave to none Exists in a realm uncomprehendable to the mind Seek and you may find the 
secret to escape the ravages of time Thoughts intertwined throughout existence Meeting at a singular point Each individual open to receive Perceives information differently The same message coming through Subconscious minds here all Not yet evolved enough to decipher the code Though the gut knows Feel the knowledge passed down and says to speak through us Another realm exists, our DNA Down to a single atom Speaking another language Instantaneous in the cells Connection unknown Body older than the mind Consciousness a new form in this timeline Of all we must in order to hear the truth inside Our hearts and minds No longer an option to sit on the sideline Our own demise in an alternate dimension Destruction all around Flames burn into the night Night after night we fight No avail, it was too late They turned our lives into hell Freedom of thought no more Words against brought death to those who spoke Propaganda burned the bodies of the transgressors Rotten flesh in the streets Please I beg and plead Let this be a false reality Gone now by the actions we take The thoughts we recreate As they flow in and out Electricity sparks Neurotransmitters fire Creating new life Continuous use with breaks in between New information Keeps us together until we can learn to adapt to this new world Death is inevitable, don't be scared It is the beginning of a new world Beyond imagination, felt once The beauty of peace, the joy of love No words to explain, it came from above The father of love Can't wait to feel it again Don't wanna leave now that I understand My mission is clear To reach as many as I can Before I disappear into the stars How do you feel the internet has impacted your business? Do you think you would even have a name without it? No, oh, absolutely not. I tried without the internet for uh, like actually going out and trying to go into the streets. I tried that for a good year and got one CD given away. Given, not sold, given. Yeah, a lot of people won't even take them. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Personally, for me, man, I don't know. I don't think I'd be as far as I am. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't think I'd be in magazines and books and all that shit. But I think I'd still have a name because I was doing it before the internet was even really a big thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was out on the streets putting out flyers, passing out CDs, passing out whatever, you know, free T-shirts, whatever. I was doing shows. I had a local name, but I don't think think you you and I would have ever crossed paths. Internet is a bro. Hey, man, I doubt I would have made it out of my city. Right. What, you know? What was your favorite song to perform the night that you performed? Um, It's called Blessed with the Curse. Yeah? Yeah. Name a few famous musicians you admire. Are you a juggalo? Uh, I admire the juggalos, but I am not one myself, technically. Okay. I was more with the Cottonmouth Kings and Head PE. They all fucked with the Juggalos, but they weren't actual Juggalos. Right. As far as my understanding, that's how it went. Right. But uh, ICP, um, the Great Malenko was my favorite CD. And then, like, the Boogeyman. That's a classic. Boogie woogie. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the most trouble you've ever gotten into? And you could take that question any way you want. Financially, with the police, with your mama, with your baby mama, it don't matter. That's okay. Good. So I left my wife for this girl. And then like the two months after I left her, I had my first schizophrenic episode. So I thought if I left 
the girl I was with, who was a completely psychotically insane psycho. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I thought if I left her, then the world would end. So I wasn't allowed to leave her for fear of everybody dying. So I stuck it out for a year of just absolute torture mentally, physically, the schizophrenia took over completely. And so then that was the worst trouble I'd ever gotten into. Glad you made it out, man. Uh, I used to have a buddy who was schizophrenic. He was bad schizophrenic. He had to live in a home and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, anytime you'd smoke weed with this guy, and the thing is he loved to smoke weed. He loved it. But every time he did it, he would have a schizophrenic episode. He'd start, <laughs> he'd start talking to himself and fucking it's it's honestly a sad ending. Um the guy the guy ended up drinking fucking pine saw and killing himself. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and like it's it's one of the things it's like all of us that you used to hang out with the guy, we all feel bad as fuck because we used to smoke weed with him and shit because we oh. thought we were kids, you know? We thought it was funny. Watching him, you know, have his episodes and shit. We didn't realize. We didn't understand none of it. You know, we just thought dude was freaking out because he was high. Right. And then once once he did that to himself, we all realized, we all realized like, okay, this is a house for schizophrenic people. None of us really knew that. This dude's really a really real schizophrenic, and we just fucking pretty much helped kill himself. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I've lived with that for a really long time. Yeah, that, that's a tough one. Yeah, uh, I don't really blame myself for that because that dude would beg us. You know what I mean? Come on, fuck right. no man, you freaked <laughs> out last time, bro. You know, but you know, you can't blame him for what he did. I mean, right. you can't take responsibility for what he did. It's absolutely. Thank you for saying yeah. that. Yeah. Um, what's the best advice you've ever been given? Uh, shit happens. Facts. <laughs> I like it. You know, yeah. So it happens. Let it go. You yeah. Know? If you could change anything about what's happened to you in the music industry, what would it be? Uh, I don't think I would have changed anything. I think it's going exactly how it's supposed to go. Right. Your, your uh, future is already written. Exactly. You know. I just have to get there. Facts. Yeah. And you can fuck that up. So don't. Yeah. Get out the alcohol, man. I got faith in you. Thanks, Reach out to man. people for help, bro. You yeah. know? Sometimes we need help. No, oh, yeah. So what's next for you, man? This is the last question. Let us know let us know what's going on with you, man. What do you got coming up? Uh I'm working on trying to form a band so I can go and do live shows. Um, and that's as far as I've gotten so far. So in the next year to two years, God, let me live that long. Uh, I plan on trying to do live shows. Hell yeah, man. Looking forward to that stuff. I appreciate you getting on. It's just music, man. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, man. Thank you. Diesel, I appreciate you getting on the show, man. You know what I'm saying? Sickle ENT in the house. You know what I'm saying? It was a dope interview. Let's end the show with one of mine like always. Let's check this out.
read the book The seven spirits that might leave you shook And might open your eyes cause you're living a lie No demons can hide where the spirits reside inside of me I know God's alive cause I asked him to come in now my life I thrive It's 2020, pandemic a virus Listen outside, all you hear is the sirens Gunshots flash in the dark of the night Children rebel with their parents, they fight Wars overseas, kind of warm in the winter They say that it's oil, there's blood in the river This is all in a book, wouldn't tell you a lie You should ride with us cause we'll open your eyes For love and all the wrong places I've said it, they can't remember their faces He wiped it all clean and he's humbling me Only God can judge John 316 Awaken, our eyes are over 100% The earth is shaking The Lord's return is coming quick You think I'm playing? Like I'm making this up? Prophecy is unfolding in front of us You still asleep, wake up You still awake, yeah Our eyes LB Sickening making another video for my sickos, and I'm off this bitch. What up, it's Jerry Robinson with Strange Music. What's the movie, wow? Yeah, Missouri, man. Yo, this is Scum here with Lurkin' Stump Productions out in Denver, Colorado. It's a six digit. Man, y'all already know what it is, man. This is the boy Blaze Hunter Knight. Run it back. This is C-Lan. Hey, Webb, and... That's a hell of a drop. I'm sitting here doing a show with my partner on Signature Series Network. You're watching this just music with Sick Over Here too. What up, y'all? This is MC Snack. From Kamikaze. Shout out to Sicko ENT and Signature Series. This is One Man Crew. This is Candy the Clown, also known as Serenity Gemini. It's your boy Cognito. You're watching It's Just Music. You're watching It's Just Music on the Signature Series Network. It's Just Music. This is It's Just Music, hosted by the homie, the Juggalo King, LB Sick. It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. And I'm kicking it with LB on Signature Sicker. I can't even do it. Sicko, mother. Holla at your boy. Got a taste of success, I'm feeling of your love. Hey, cup, pull the bottle, homie. I'ma feel great. You want to ride it on the saddle, homie. I'ma feel great. To be a man and show your soft side, it's not easy to do. It's just, it's just not, it's not in us. You know what I mean? And Nick does that a lot in a lot of his music, man. Check this next one. Now, this is my life. Black and white. Who am I? I'm Mr. Cooper. This is LB Sydney, and you're watching Signature Series Network, the home of my new show. It's just music. Make sure you check me out. The Wolf? Crazy, scary, you fucking listen to it, the sky turns red. Uh, LB, sickening, sicko entertainment. I'll give you a nine. I'm back in the booth and leave it to Lil Billy. I'm vibing really, still chasing me a million. On the beach in PC, RIP, Harley Dillon. Hey, and I'm dipping when I'm sliding. 26 is on the Chevy, so I'm dripping when I'm riding. Yeah, and that Rello burn slow. Lil Leaguers on gold that can't wait to turn pro. Uh, but I think a little different. And that's how I come from Cali, so it's stank a little different. I'm still dizzy and I'm still down to hit them. Peas can still get them, cheese can still whip them. Extra clip on, bet we not the victim nah, Sick on nah, ENT, hey, and BT you get it I used yeah, to ride with hey. the chain gang, lots of cocaine Take a left at the light, man, I'm driving cause I'm white, man How you think we paid for the studio tours? Ohio Hip Hop Awards, oh yeah, I'm coming for yours I changed my life, man, I'm trying to live right, man Baby boy stabbed, yeah, somebody's trying to fight, man 
They trying to bring the beast about me, let the devil sleep sound me Sicko ENT is better than you They used to ride with the chain gang, lots of cocaine Take a left at the light, man, I'm driving cause I'm white, man How you think we paid for the studio tours? Ohio Hip Hop Awards, oh yeah, I'm coming for yours I changed my life, man, I'm trying to live right, man Baby boy, step down, somebody's trying to fight, man They trying to bring the beast about me, let the devil sleep soundly